Hello, this is Rob Weir. I'm a committer with the Apache OpenOffice project, and I'd like to take you through a quick tutorial on how to use the Apache CMS web interface. Using the Apache CMS allows you to update Apache websites to make changes and push them out onto the public website. It's a very useful skill to do. It's a little bit more difficult than using a wiki, but not that much more difficult. If I can do it, you can do it, and if you can do it, you can help the project keep the website up to date. So let's jump in. Uh, first, what is a CMS? Well, just looking here at Wikipedia, a CMS is a content management system, a computer system that allows publishing, editing, and modifying content, as well as site maintenance from a central page. And that's essentially what we're going to take a look at, a central interface that allows any committer in the project to edit um, any Podling website, web page, or any page on the OpenOffice.org website. One of the key technologies we'll be using while editing the website is something called a bookmarklet. And if you're not familiar with the term, looking again at Wikipedia, a bookmarklet is an unobtrusive JavaScript stored as the URL of a bookmark in a web browser or as a hyperlink on a web page. So essentially it's a little bit of JavaScript that we're going to take from the Apache website and drag and drop into your browser up here in the toolbar and that will become kind of a mini utility that will help invoke the Apache CMS for any given page. So without much further ado, let's jump in. I'm going to start off here on the project's homepage, incubator.apache.org slash openoffice.org. And the first thing we're going to do is install the bookmarklet, because I do not have it yet on this machine. Uh, to do that, let's go down to development. I'm going to click on website. And I'm going to use uh, the link here using the Apache CMS bookmarklet. And one more link, I'm going to click on the from your browser link up here. And I see here recommended bookmarklet and the link is right here. What I'm going to do is left click and drag it and drop it where I can drop it up here in the toolbar. So I can drop it right there. And that's all that's needed to install the Apache CMS bookmarklet. It will be there every time you start up the browser. Now to invoke it, let's go back to the website and find a page that we might want to edit. Let's see, how about updating the mailing list description page? If we go here, I remember seeing that, yeah, the development mailing list page is a little bit out of date. It says that this is a high traffic list with an average of 57 posts per day. Um, honestly, the last I checked, it was more like you know, 80 to 90, 88 to 90 posts per day. So let's update that. I'm on the page. I click the bookmarklet, the link right up here. And that brings me to the CMS interface. And within this interface, I can view the contents of the file, I can edit the file, I can commit the file changes to subversion, I can look at a staged version of the file changes, and that's kind of an important concept. When we edit a web page, we don't edit the public copy of it on the production web server directly. If we did that, it would be much too easy to, you know, make incorrect changes that propagate out and, and kind of block the work of thousands of people on the website. And th that's important to note that at any given second, there's over a thousand people browsing the openoffice.org website. So we want to be careful in how we make changes. One way we do that is make a change, view the results of our change on the staging server. Once we've reviewed and confirmed that it's the type of change we want and it didn't break anything, then we push the change out to the production server. So it's two sta three stages, really. Edit, stage it, and then publish it. So in this case, we're going to edit it, so not surprisingly, we're going to click this Edit button right here. In the Edit view, on the left, we have the source file for the web page. In this case, it's in markdown text format. Other pages might be in HTML or XML format. Just happens to be this one on the Podling website's markdown text. And over here on the right, we have a live preview of it. So let's scroll down to where we talk about the dev mailing list, and I believe that's right here, and we'll sync up so we have the same content over here on the preview. And I'm going to say, edit it and say with an average of 88 posts per day. 
which is the most recent number I've seen. And you see over here on the right, it's updated there in the preview. Okay, now that we've made that change, it's time to commit the changes to Subversion so we can view it on the staging server. I'm just going to scroll down here and we see a button here called Quick Commit and ability to type in a log message. And I'm just going to type in a quick comment here to document the change. I'm just going to say update uh, traffic levels for OOO dev list to 88 and then I'm going to click Submit. So what you want to do at this point is click on the staged link here to view the staged version of it. Your change may or may not be there already. Sometimes it can take 10 seconds, sometimes it can take 30 seconds, sometimes it can take several minutes. It really depends on the load on the server and um, you know, how many other jobs are going down and the complexity of the change you've made. In this case, if I click down I can see that the update's already been made. Verify it's correct. Verify I didn't break anything on this web page. It looks pretty good. Another way you could look to see if your change had, had been made yet is to click on this follow staging build link. And if you do that, if a build is currently going on, a build meaning taking the markdown text, converting it to HTML, inserting the the headers and footers that are on every page, etc., you would see your job here along with your name and an estimated amount of time before it was done. You know, typically 30 seconds, a minute or so. In this case, it was done quite quickly before I could even get to that link. So now that I've verified that's correct, next step is then to say I want to publish the site. A good practice here is to click on View Diff. That's a good double check to make sure that the changes that you expected to make are actually there. And I see on the diff, yep, change from 57 to 88. That looks good. I'm just going to click Submit. No no real need to put a comment there. And then you can go onto the production server and see what it looks like. So I click Production, and if I go down to that link, it still says 57, but if I give it a second and click Refresh, there it is, updated to 88. That's pretty much all, all there is to it. You install the bookmarklet, you go to the page that you want to edit, you click the bookmarklet, you click edit that in that CMS interface, you make the changes, commit the changes along with a commit comment, then check on the staging server to verify that the changes are correct. You know, if they're not correct, just go back and edit again. You, you can go as many iterations as you need to. Once it's looking the way you want it to look, then click publish and it gets copied onto the production server, and you're done. I hope this is useful. If um, it is, let me know. Send a note to the oodev at incubator.apache.org list. If you want to see more tutorials like this, I'm always looking for feedback. Thanks a lot. Bye.